guys, what's up? Welcome to yet another DSG TV. David Seitman Garland, uh, highly caffeinated today here. So I'm going to be probably a little jittery here with our delicious new whiteboard. So a little bit of a, of a question here is, you know, as you guys know, I love studying what the most successful people do, um, you know, in the industry, right? So I want to talk a little bit about something about, you know, the next product program, whatever the heck you're making here on the new whiteboard here that I now have shoved in the middle of the condo. So Here's a question that we're going to kind of jump into. What do the most successful mediapreneurs do versus what other people do? So let's talk about what other people do, people that aren't so successful with their information products and their online programs, okay? So what they'll do is they'll kind of create a lot of different programs. Have you seen like this? Like, you know, raise your hand. You know, I can't really see you, but feel free. They'll create like this constellation of different programs on different things, right? Like you've seen this out here before. So, you know, this program's on, you know, I don't know, losing weight. This program's on gaining weight. Uh, this program's on healthy eating and it, all these different things. But there's like all these different programs and constellation of stuff at different price points out there. And what ends up happening, and this is where the struggling point comes in, right? Is that, let's just be honest, Putting full marketing effort in, and juice into something like promotions and affiliates and joint ventures and advertising and maximizing your own list, all that kind of stuff, it takes a lot of effort. And the problem is if you spread it amongst too many different products and programs and you know 50,000 things that you're trying to sell people, the overall impact is not that good because now you're spreading out all this kind of stuff all over the place and you know what what ends up happening is something's going to struggle and that's going not so good so what do the most successful media entrepreneurs do let's erase this by the way how funny would it be if this entire whiteboard fell down on this we have this like flimsy little stand here okay so the most successful media entrepreneurs don't have a huge amount of products. They don't have like 50 products or anything like that. What do they have? Well, here's how it works. They have a flagship program. They're big thing, they're big move, they're big play. And what they do is every single type of marketing effort. So let's say what what what, what kind of different marketing efforts we can have. We could have like YouTube and you know, Facebook and, you know, affiliates and we could have, you know, ads, you know, guest blogging. I'm just making up all this stuff, right? There's an endless list. Guest blogging, you know, etc. What they do is every single thing, every single one of these points towards the flagship program, right? Let me give you an example. Somebody you want to go check out on YouTube, he's actually coming up on the rise to the top, is my buddy Mike Chang, who's got the number one fitness channel on YouTube. He's got like one and a half million subscribers, 200 million plus views, but guess what? Mike doesn't promote a bunch of different things. He's always promoting his fitness program, Six Pack Shortcuts. It's always promoting it, right? So all the efforts move towards this flagship program, and then this thing blows up <laughs> in a good way because all your marketing and promoting efforts are going towards it, right? Then down the line, right, you can sell maybe some other stuff, some add-ons or another program or you know another service or whatever it might be down the line but all the marketing efforts only point towards one specific thing so that's the lesson today on what a lot of the most successful media entrepreneurs do so look at people like Marie Forleo look at people uh, like Mike Chang with six pack shortcuts and think about the efforts that they've gone to over the last few years is instead of going okay I'm gonna half-ass a bunch of different things I'm gonna put all my effort into a flagship program and then move it down from there. So that's today's lesson on DSG TV. I want to hear your thoughts on it below. Do you have a flagship program? Do you want to create a flagship program? And also, good news, the free video series is now up, Create Awesome Online Courses. So if you've got a platform, 
web show, YouTube videos, blog, podcast, yada, 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 and you want to turn it into revenue by creating your own online course and selling it 24-7 based on something you already know, I'm teaching you, enter your email. Head over to createawesomeonlinecourses.com. Enter your email. I've got a free three-part video series for you. And then at the end of it, an opportunity to join the program. So make sure to check that out, and I'll see you next time.